Ball is fed forward here for Mark Poland. Lovely layoff to find Connor McGinn. McGinn just inside the 45 meter line. High and hanging. And it's batted down to Daryl Keenan. And this is Barry Owens sending it on for Damien Kelly. Early exchange at the Brewster Park. It's been quite tentative so far. Challenge going in. Aiden Brannigan with Marty McGrath. There's a striking action there by Aiden Brannigan on Marty McGrath. We'll see it once again. Well, clearly Aiden Brannigan struck out there at Marty McGrath. Meanwhile, away from that incident, Conor Laverty is down and he requires some treatment. The referee Sil Doyle is uh, just taking note of the name of a straight red for Daryl Keenan from Tempo. Oh, what a blow so early in this game for Fermanagh. Now, let's see the incident which led to Daryl Keenan's sending off. That ball broken down by Niall Bogue. Now, Keenan was knocked to the ground there by Brendan McCardle. Laverty here, and a fist into the stomach of Conor Laverty by Daryl Keenan, and that was seen by the match officials, and that is why Daryl Keenan saw red. Hughes going cross field. This is O'Hare to take on Barry Owens on the outside, checking inside. O'Hare left footed. Has he got the accuracy? And that is a beautiful point. The open point of this ultra championship clash at Brewster Park, scored by Donald O'Hare. Well, he bided his time. Very closely watched here by Barry Owens. Elected to take him on on the outside. And that's a coolly taken point by O'Hare. Kevin McKernan. Angle ball forward, and it's a good ball as well to O'Hare. Chance here for Aidan Brannigan, chance of a goal. Great save by Gallagher, and he held on to it. Good goalkeeping by Gallagher to deny Aidan Brannigan. Oh, what a chance that was for Brannigan. Through on goal, one on one with the goalkeeper, but rather struck it straight. Darren O'Hagan. O'Hagan sending it on. Patient from down. They have the numerical advantage here as Ambrose Rogers pulls the trigger. And a big man from Longstone edges down in front here. Great point from Ambrose Rogers and down lead by two points to one. Connor Laverty. Aiden Brannigan once again. This is Darren O'Hagan getting forward. Struck in. Loose ball. Keeper here to have it. O'Hare, goal for Down. Donald O'Hare with a goal for the Mournman. Well, the high ball in. Plus all the damage, and Fermanagh never recovered. And Donald O'Hare was on hand to apply the finish. Mulrone couldn't deal with it there. And O'Hare did well to tuck it away. Well, the approach from Dan is clear. Trying to use the space here at Brewster Park to good effect. This is Kevin McKernan striding forward, being shadowed by Mulrone. Laverty with the layoff. Mark Poland. And McKernan, oh, that's a lovely score by Kevin McKernan. Laverty with the pass here to Poland. And on the wraparound, McKernan tucked it over the bar. This is Brendan McCardle. All the down players keen to get in on the act here. Callum King batting it forward now for Connor Laverty. Laverty with a lovely pass into space for Brendan McCardle. And the fullback joining the attack. Big smile on his face, he says it all. Well, that's what Dan are all about this afternoon. Defenders joining the attack. And Connor Laverty with the pass, picking out the run of Brendan McCardle. And he made absolutely no mistake. Much to ponder for Peter Canavan and his uh, team of selectors here. This is Damien Kelly. Kelly away from the challenge of Brendan McCardle. Manages to uh, direct that one in and over the bar. And that's a much needed score for Fermanagh. Scored by Damien Kelly from Tempo right on the stroke of half time brian cox from bell coup and kill some way out and it's a great point it really is from daniel kill his second point of the game for manas third just before half time well they've given themselves a glimmer of hope here the 14 men but daniel kill with the last act of the first half here Ball now into space for Kamos Corrigan, son of former Fermanagh manager Dom. Daniel Kill, now Tommy McElroy, a oh, brilliant block coming in there from McCardle. Loose ball, seized upon here. 
And Eamon Maguire jinking, twisting and turning this way and that. And a rueful look at the face of Aidan Brannigan. But the free-in has been awarded and it's taken quickly. A chance of a goal! And for Man to have a goal, maybe, just maybe, all is not lost yet. Damian Kelly with the goal. Quickly taken free and Fermanagh are back in this game. Dan McCartan, Aidan Carr now. Bernal Hagen with the layoff and McCartan with the point. Oh, what a great response that is from Dan McCartan. The cornerback getting forward. And that could be an all important score for Dan. This is Mark Poland. Niall McGovern keeping a watchful eye. And Poland goes long. It's a 1v1 situation here. And Conor Laverty could be in here. Still Laverty around the goalkeeper. Conor Laverty from Manuel Pena Bonnie's back. But Laverty kept his composure and guided the ball into the net. And it should be game seven match now. Coolness personified there. Conor Laverty around the goalkeeper. And he slotted the ball in. Well, he was strong in the challenge on Niall Bogue. Well, did he pick it off the ground there? Difficult for the referee and the umpires perhaps to spot that, but it was quick and inventive from Conor Laverty. While the full-time whistle goes, and Fermanagh have been beaten here, down, easing through. Fermanagh doing themselves no favours with the early sending off of Darrell Keenan. Down go through to beat Monaghan. It has finished here, down, two goals and ten points. Fermanagh, 1-8. A championship win any time you get a victory in the Ulster Championship, even though it wasn't pretty, uh, like you'll take it all day long. It's certainly areas of the game with lots we're going to need to improve on for the next round, but delighted to get over the line.